Well, hello, good evening, welcome to Fido. Live stream number 72. Woohoo! Woohoo! 72! Well, hello, Chief Colorist. You, uh, you join us this week. I join you this week. From okay. home, not from a hospital bed. I'm going to need the two you're working on. So, uh, oh, could, you, could you okay. pass them over here? Sure. So, uh, can you go through this, the mail slot here? Yes, I can. Alrighty then. I'm going to steal those from her. Mm -hmm. Oops. Oh, my. oh man, I got a little uh, light balancing thing here. Try that again. Here we go. Now, um, let's go back to yesterday's comic strip because um, it fits in my storyline here. <clears throat> I'll read this one to you. The, the cast is just coming from seeing a film. Now, I've been promoting this film for months now, so I why not have it in the comic strip? Okay, Fido says, that movie sucked. Felicia says, I liked it. <coughs> All those cats. Talk about unbelievable. And she shoots these tentacles out of her mouth. Big picks Fido up, up, up <laughs> off the ground. Can all cats do that? They want to put it in a movie if we couldn't. So, uh, yes, yeah, see the Marvel's poster in the background? That's our ladies right here. Um, well, um, the film hasn't done very well. <laughs> it hasn't, you said. Yeah, but Brie, uh, but, but Brie Larson did famously say that she doesn't need a forty-year-old white dude to watch her film. <laughs> she didn't mean every film. She just meant that particular film that she was talking about. Yeah. Um, Unfortunately, it's become every film. So. <laughs> I don't know who's holding the purse strings over there at uh, Lucasfilm. But like a week after this film had already come out and we all knew it was going to be a failure, they did this silly trailer, Cap Captain Mewville, with, sorry, Meowville, with, with cats. We're replacing uh, the, um, the actresses. Uh, <laughs> and it was cringeworthy. And, and everyone said, oh, that's not real. But it, no, it actually came from Marvel Productions. They actually... Produced it. But, but, but talk why? about a, <laughs> talk about a waste of money. Uh, but why though? Like, uh, did they say why? Is it really supposed to be promotional or <laughs> marketing? I mean, is it what, what was it supposed to be? I think they thought it was clever. But as what? But um, we we all made the joke when they stuck uh, Captain Valkyrie, or sorry, uh, Queen, King Valkyrie in there. You know, put a chicken at Rick or Lame, and gay. But um, apparently they cut a scene from the Marvels which suggested that Carol Danvers, Mrs. Cap uh, Captain Marvel here, had a relationship with Tessa Thompson's Valkyrie. Oh. Shucks, men, she's taken. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, um, that's the Marvels. Uh, while I'm on the topic, what the hell? This is um, what our thesis is more or less going to be today. Um, Disney cel celebrating the 100 years of greatness, or 90 at least. Yeah. Uh, I've come up that they have three problems. One, brain drain. Two, audience loss. Right down here, so I have it. And three Disney Plus. Brain drain. They can't do a three a, a two D animation anymore, as we'll discuss later on with Wish, they, their their computer animated um, feature. They don't, have the they don't have the talent anymore, and they can't write a they can't write a story. Um, all of Lucasfilm cannot come up with a Star Wars story, despite having Lucasfilm writing group. Uh, hired there. Uh, they, they don't they don't have the talent. We'll get back to that later. Audience loss. Nobody wants, nobody trusts them anymore. You can't get a, a, a you can't get a, a parents to allow their children to see these films anymore. That's why Wish hasn't done well this week. And three, Disney Plus. Everything goes to Disney Plus to die. Back in the old days, they could have merchandised these things. They could have uh, licensed them out. They could have been the, uh, the, the, the the war chest for the streaming wars. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, uh, they can't do that no, at all. No. Just so we'll get back to that later. I don't want to... I don't want to monopolize oh. everything. Let's see. That was Saturday. 
this aside. And it actually can go into cold storage because it's already been filmed. All right, she has Thursday and Wednesday, the 29th. Hmm, what happened to Monday? I don't have it. Be a good question. What do I have here? I have December, December, December. There's the 28th, Tuesday. Oh, I got them right here. All right. Fantastic. Okay. So here's uh, Monday, the 27th. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow. Uh, Fido and Bo in the car. Pull over, pull over to that corner over there. And, yep, this is mine. Staples. So I'll run to the pole. Okay, drive me to the next corner. You know, most dogs don't use flyers to mark their territory. What? It's scratch and sniff. <laughs> Something the chief colorist hasn't noticed. I put a few flyers in the background here, and she hasn't noticed them. Now they're painted. What are you talking about? Right there in the third panel. You can see in the background when they drove away. There are flyers all over the place. Oh, well. This one's already been recorded, so it's done with and over with. This goes into cold storage. Where are they? Uh, well, you'll never see it now. I guess not. I pointed it out to the audience. Perhaps if you ever watch this, you'll see. All yeah, right. To listen to my own voice. <laughs> Here is Tuesday. Felicia and Fido. Felicia says, I'm as healthy as a cat. Huh? You, you know the phrase, sick as a dog? I'm trying to start a new one. Healthy as a cat. How's that working out for you? I'm already sick of it. <laughs> and that one's already been recorded. It can go into cold storage. All right, here's the Wednesday. Chief Colors is working on this right now, and you actually get to see how she does the layers of coloring for the co leather couch. Mm -hmm. The blue up there. All right, Felicia says, I don't worry about the future. If there's nothing I can do about it, why even care? I just asked what you wanted for dinner tonight. Tonight? <laughs> Join me in the here and now, pal. I'll have pineapple pizza. Hawaiian pizza, otherwise known as. Dinner time. I wanted tuna. Well, I dwell in the past. Join us in the here and now, pal. <laughs> yeah. Pineapple pizza, icky pizza. That one goes back to the chief colorist. Okay. All right. And here's Thursday she's also working on. Um, yes, sir, the sitting at the dinner table. <clears throat> well, dogs, the world would be an unhappy place. Cats inspire the world to do better. Dogs are loyal and trustworthy. Cats are inspirational and have a sense of style. Humans feed you. Yeah, they're not so bad. I think we'll keep them around. Good that they know their place. <laughs> you know, that one goes back to the chief colorist, too. Mm -hmm. And let's look at what we will be working on today. Uh, let's see, there's Saturday, there's Friday, and there's following Monday. All right. So Friday, of course, is in the bar. Um, You'll see this better when I do the uh, finished penciling. It's all kind of just roughed in there now, but we'll just give you the joke here. Dino says, there's a cat here in my bear again. And Bo's trying to shh, you know, shush him. And uh, um, the cat boss originally in this panel says, really? But I'm thinking he's a Darth Vader-like character. It's best to keep him quiet in this scene. So we'll just pretend he doesn't say really. That's why I didn't even get in. There's a cat here in my bear again. Shh. How fortunate for you. I do not want cat here in my bear. In my bear. <clears throat> Why not? Will, will you just let it go? Because it's cat here. And he sh stuffs Fido into the di into the glass. I think it's important that Fido's paw be stuffed in there, so like he's t he's stuck in there, mm -hmm. just by his butt and legs are popping out. Tried to get the uh, scale right. I think I'm pretty close to the scale. We might have to modify that. But, eh, happy now? <laughs> Fido shoved into the pint glass. So we'll do the finished penciling on that first. And uh, I might have to resize, readjust uh, the scale. And do some measurements. Because this is this panel and this panel are the same size. These are smaller. Yeah, I'm able to do camera movements. Um, unlike Disney. <clears throat> so. All right, this is the Saturday one. Um, also, you probably can't see it, but we'll be pen doing the finished penciling on this one today and the lettering. Uh, Jane and Bo, they're getting dressed in the morning. And Jane says, what's that smell? And they get on their hands and knees and look under the bed where Bo finds a dead mouse. Ew. Goes to Felicia, who's uh, lounging out on the couch in the other room. Why would you leave a dead mouse under my bed? I was just making sure that you cleaned under there. 
<laughs> and here's the Monday, the 4th of December. Uh, boys are, well, Bo's drinking a beer, Fido's lounging on the couch, and Dino's playing a video game, and Felicia strolls in, camera left. And she says, what I like most about this place is that I can come here and be surrounded by love. And then she strolls off. And Fido says, can't see the world differently from everybody else. <laughs> we may or may not get to that one. At least we'll do the lettering on that table when we start inking. Oh, we're going to start on the Friday borrow one. Let's get a, uh, let's get a pencil sharpened. Uh, excuse me. All right, that works. Now, cartoonists are the dirtiest, filthiest creatures on the face of the planet, so I gotta wear a glove. And uh, usually, uh, let's see. Let's let's start with the cat boss. We have him speaking here. He originally said "really," but I'm gonna I'm gonna not use the "really" because I think it's better if he's just a threatening Darth Vader-like character standing silent. More ominous. Right. It's an unnecessary, really. And we'll just sort of clean up and... Hmm. Should we have Irving and camera one move in here? Because we're kind of far away. And the camera really doesn't know where to focus on anyway. Okay, I'm going to move the camera in closer for this what one. What do you mean you are? Yeah, let's, Irving. let's get Irving to move the camera in here. Get it pleasantly straight and centered. And we can almost still see FidelTheComicStrip.com up there. So yeah, that works. And plus, I can get behind the camera now. Uh -huh. um, so his mouth won't be open. He'll just do a... There's his... Collar. Let's see. <clears throat> Drink if you got them, folks. Ugh. So I'm going to pull this back here so I have something to rest my hand on, so I'm not going to smear too much of my stuff. Uh, we very seldom see the cat boss from behind, so this is a, a chance to see how the tail comes out of his pants. <laughs> and it's funny, ever since he's taken over as the uh, boss here, he usually wears a black coat, but now he just has his white button-down shirt with the sleeves rolled up. Well, that looks more accurate. <laughs> it's super villain running a bar. Mm -hmm. But he hasn't given up his super villain ways. The uh, dad boss, Bo's father, is still locked up in the bathroom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, let's see, this sandal is about over here. All right. Now, um, we got Dino here. And so a little angry look in the eyes. But the, um, I got his eyebrows up, so he's like, he's... Yeah, you know, there's a hair in my beard again. That's sort of that look. His eyebrows were down in an angry thing that was give the wrong look. And you feel just by how wide the mouth is open, how uh, how how loud he's <laughs> saying things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think we have some unaccompanied minors in the hallway. And uh, I don't think the uh, microphone is picking them up. I doubt the microphone's picking me up. <laughs> Probably not even picking me up. <laughs> I hope it's not, but all I'm doing over here is sniffling. Yeah, you don't like your voice on the air. Yeah. Well, no one, like actually, no one likes their voice. No. When they hear it. Because it, well, like it. it sounds different than what comes out of your head. Mm -hmm. So, um, 
Disney's three problems, the brain drain, audience loss, and Disney Plus. Um, it's, you might remember my thesis earlier. Uh, this, this same problem is being, uh, it, well, someone else on this planet is suffering the same problem. That would be uh, Mr. Vlad Putin. <laughs> Let's see, uh, millions of people have fled his country so that they don't have to get drafted for his war. And plus, you know, why would you be like an engineer in Russia and, and not have indoor plumbing? <laughs> That's ridiculous. Well, in some parts of particularly Siberia, they don't have indoor plumbing. I'm not saying <laughs> that they do. I'm saying it's ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. Uh, audience loss. Um, who the hell is ever going to buy Russian weapons now? Poland's already gearing up with Korea to start making tanks. <laughs> Everyone's ready to take their market. Plus, you know, they lost their market for oil in Europe. They, uh, yeah, and um, their Disney Plus would be Ukraine. Yeah, just yeah. It, 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 they, They've lost all of the, well, they're going to lose all of the uh, weapons that were left to them from mm -hmm. the Soviet Union. And they're, they're, running, they're running out of tanks and armored vehicles. And, well, let's not forget, they are, they're, they're, they're running out of um, highly trained paratroopers. They lost they're quite a... They're running out of people. Yeah. They <clears> lost quite a soldiers. bit. Soldiers. They lost quite a bit of some of the finest soldiers on the planet at Hostomel Airport. Mm. You can't send light infantry in unsupported. As Montgomery learned during the, um, the Arnhem offensive in World War II. Yeah, I'm sort of picking This is why you have to teach history. <laughs> what? Putin's not a. Um, <laughs> Putin's Sorry. not a, 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 a scholar of history? Um, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure Bob Iger is it. <laughs> <laughs> but similarities, the similarities between Putin and Iger, um, both of them put a puppet in place while they waited to regain power. Okay. Med Medvedev with uh, Putin and, uh, and Chapek with Iger. Mm -hmm. They both don't take well to criticism. <laughs> I figure Fido's reaching for his drink here, and he's so busy watching this situation that he's knocked it over. A little bit of action in the panel, I guess. And this paw is on the bar. And uh, Bo over here is cringing in the corner. So. Big eyes, wide, worried eyebrows, and hands are So what can Disney do to fix this situation? Nothing. Pretty much the same thing that Russia's going to have to do. Number three, of course, is that um, Iger's got to get rid of Disney Plus so that they can make money again. And Putin's got to get out of Ukraine. That's not going to solve the brain drain problem. It's not going to solve the audience loss. Those things will take generations to repair if it can ever be repaired at all. But you can only stop the bleeding. Or slow the bleeding, these are failed businesses. Um, mm -hmm. that th these are failed business models, they're not working. All right, this second panel is a little bit more of a close up. Yeah, yeah. Bob's got to burn uh, another ten billion dollars to get Hulu. Good luck there, Bob. Yeah, I can't forget about that. Yeah, and that comes up. Well, December right, so. December is coming, Bob. Winter is coming, Bob. Uh -huh. So, um, 
as I said, our movie, uh, Wish, mm -hmm. is underperforming. Um, even the worst projections by 50%. In a five-day, they're calling it five, that's why we're closer to seven, uh, run, there, 40 to 45 million. Uh, just below Hunger Games, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. Is that title a little bit long? <laughs> yeah. Wait, is that out? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it is already out? Yeah, it's, it's made more money than Wish. Oh, okay. And hey, just, uh, how do you do a Disney villain? Now, let me get my ruler here. You do straight, sharp lines. Yes, I think. This might be the villain. What do you think? Uh, straight line there. <laughs> straight line there. Straight line there. Yeah, I think that might be the villain. Where the hero, of course, are all rounded. Look at the, look at the, look at the size of this eye. Okay, uh, that eye. Let me get a, a villain eye. No, 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 no. That's oh, good. That's that. That's the good guy eye. Let me. Uh, oh. Let me. Let's see. Let's take a measurement using this. That eye is, let's see, one, make a mark there, two, three, that's four, five, and six to the top of it. So it's, it's huge. <laughs> it's one sixth the size of the entire head. <laughs> and all these rounded curves and, yeah, that's a. Yeah, that's our that's our hero and that's our villain. Um, uh, Ma Magnifico, El Magnifico, King Magnifico is the. Uh, King Magnifico. Yeah. Uh, let's see. What, 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 where's the funny line that I? Yeah, in his song. Oh God, his song. Yeah, yeah. He he does a rap song where he says, uh, I, "Oh God damn it." Thought I, had a, thought I had it here. Guess not. I didn't write down the lyrics. Oh, oh no. Hmm. <clears throat> uh. <clears throat> so, Disney, uh, let's make a boring... It's, this looks like a cooking show. <laughs> this is a shot from one of the uh, films. They're trying to do like a watercolor background, but in a 3D feel with the computer animation because they can't do 2D animation anymore because of um, number one, brain drain. And uh, I'm playing with Wish. Here's their audience. These are her friends, the modern day equivalent of the seven dwarfs. We have a, a white guy. We have a, 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 a black woman. Um, this looks like a Hispanic, and this looks maybe Indian, and uh, Russian. I don't know what you call it, but definitely, <laughs> but definitely, this one is Hebrew. Uh, but what I wanted to print out here is uh, Disney love loves to do this. This is such a colorful audience. We have one, two, three white, four. Uh, I'll cover that one. Five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, and I'm going to call this one eleven. Oh, over here, twelve. Fine, dozen. Now, uh, oh, thirteen. One back here. All right, lucky number. Oh, I'm giving this one too. Fourteen. No. What are you counting? Um. Okay. And uh, people of color. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I did not plan that. <laughs> yeah. Um, Disney doesn't seem to know how kingdoms and uh, and villages work. Why, honey? Don't kingdoms. <laughs> Villages work by oh I don't know uh, being an intern or what was that again? <laughs> yeah, um, 
she wants to be an intern to the king. <laughs> now, we might remember uh, 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 Little Mermaid when the prince was adopted. That's not how royalty works. Uh, internships, not how royalty works. <laughs> and villages are generally rather homogenous because they don't get out. And, this is not New York City. We don't have people immigrating to, in and out in big uh, crowds. They're, they're, they're generally pretty inbred. <laughs> Racism or, or discriminatory just because there's nobody else around. Yeah. Okay, so let's let's just go back to Disney as our inspiration, huh? Uh, yeah, let's get rid of the next to my stack of stuff and a reminder that, that they did the cat thing. Oh, and since we're on topic, uh, this is um, the director of the Marvels. Mm -hmm. She's uh, made up the word blurred, which Marvel? means black nerd. Oh, oh. Now, this woman's too pretty to be a black nerd. <laughs> so, Ms. DaCosta, um, thank you for playing. Uh, remember Aquaman is coming out this December? No, it isn't. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Um, we're, we're very... Um, uh, no Amber Heard in the, um, in the new trailer. And they're showing oh, Jason. Oh, she's not in the trailer at all? Nope. Remember no. before they had the uh, picture of Amber Heard that kind of looked like um, the the ring doorbell camera footage from yeah, Johnny yeah, Depp's yeah, yeah, house? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just her throwing a punch? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. That, um, no Amber Heard. Wow. Oh, that's not Disney, of course. But um, other companies have proved that they, too, can, um, can fail. So, um... Back to Marvel, <clears throat> uh, with their with their brain drain, they've um, they've got to do the Fantastic Four now, and they're going to have a female Silver Surfer. Now I said, you got to do what they did in the Watchmen, you know, big, yeah, big, oh godlike blue guy with his dong swinging left and forth. You've got to do a naked woman Silver Surfer, and I'm not the only one who thought so. Um, people on the internet have, have given us this. And Gary from Nerd Rotic, of course, has given us this. <laughs> but um, they've hired the actress to play the Silver Surfer, and this is Anna Taylor Joy. Now, you and I might remember her from The Queen's Gambit. Oh. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, in certain lights. Because, well, I got, I went searching for photos of her, oh. and I don't know what happened to this photo. But it shows that she does have a nice body and probably can play the naked Silver Surfer. Mm -hmm. But what the hell's going on with her nose? <laughs> oh, And the eyes. And this is... But she does have, anyway. have an interesting look. She yes. Alien-like. But anyway, I found a more traditional bathing suit photo of her. Mm -hmm. um, she probably could use implants. Okay. But hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, whatever. Talk about the male gaze here. So, male gaze, G-A-Z-E, not G-A-Y-S. Um, but anyway, we, we uh, in anticipation of the Fantastic Four, I personally don't think the film's going to be made because I don't expect Disney Marvel to be around that long. Uh. Um, you saw the Thanksgiving Day Parade, didn't you? I, I saw the Thanksgiving Day Parade because I saw it every year with my father, so I make sure yeah. I watch it every year. And I'm very scared. I am so very happy. I haven't seen um, network television since like 2017, so I, I, I don't have to watch it. I watch it every year, and one of the first things that I mm. saw was a little ditty about corn. You mean this one? Yes. A little ditty about corn. Uh, and they were telling us a, a very lovely, diverse group of young uh, theater actors. I say theater actors because they appear to be theater actors. Yeah, they actually kind of look like the Seven Dwarfs from uh, the Snow White film. But go oh, ahead. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they um, decided to talk to us about corn and the nutrition in corn. It's the and same going have, in as uh, coming the, the, out. The, 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 mm -hmm. I was getting there. Go, go for it. Well, they're talking about corn. They're actually holding full, you know, corn on the cob. Mm -hmm. And at one point, while they're, you know, whatever, they line up. And they kind of, well, pass this corn cob from their mouths 
between their legs to the next person while stating that corn goes in and comes out, or goes in the same way it comes out. Which I don't think is a good advertisement for corn, but uh, that, that's just not, me. But you're, it's, it's the, okay, it's the Thanksgiving Day Parade. You've got these people who have the, these bands that have, you know, tried for years to get their spot there. You've got these other, like, plays that come out and they do, like, a little scene from the play. They have the Back to the Future play. They have the Rockettes. And then you have a group of children essentially in like a daisy chain passing a corn cob, uh, not a corn cob, I'm sorry. Yes, no, a corn cob. Yeah, corn cob. Passing a corn cob from their mouth between their legs to the person behind them smell. Mm. It's it, it was it was a little scary. Mm, yeah, that happened. That happened. I mean, it, it, was, it was frightening. <laughs> it was very, very frightening. <laughs> mm-hmm. It goes in the same way it comes out. Like, like it, 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 do we need that? Do we need that line? <laughs> no, there are people eating. <laughs> Literally, it's Thanksgiving. There are a lot of people eating. <laughs> I wonder how that helped corn sales. <laughs> I think people were just stunned. I don't, I don't think, think I would have eaten my corn on Thanksgiving. <laughs> I, well, I, mm, I didn't eat anything, really. Although you did attempt to make a very lovely dinner, and it was a lovely dinner. Just They I sold out of turkeys. I just couldn't eat. I I'm I do not expect to have the chief colorist for Thanksgiving, so I did not prepare a meal. Usually, I go all out. I I, I make my own stuffing with uh, cornbread and and sausage, and and like I get the thick, uncut bread and slice it myself and toast it and let it get all stale so I can make really good stuffing, uh, 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 celery in it and, and sometimes carrot and I go all out in the stuffing and I go all out on the uh, gravy and all out on the uh, just about everything uh, the, even the bird you, you, gotta, uh, you gotta brine it and and, and, and and like put butter with um garlic and uh, parsley under the skin and to, to try to get a nice crispy skin um i went to the supermarket and they were sold out of turkeys no turkeys mm. so what did you get charles i got a menopausal chicken what did they call it charles <laughs> Fresh fowl. Fresh fowl. I guess this was a chicken that no longer... F-O-W-L. Yeah. I guess this was a chicken that no longer laid eggs, so it was a little bit older and more mature, so thus it was almost turkey size. It was the size of a small turkey. (laughs) And um, we attempted that. You ever hear the phrase, tough old bird? Now I know why. (laughs) She was a tough old bird. So I, after I cooked it and we served it and really had trouble eating it, I took the whole thing and just tossed it in a pot of water and let it simmer for five, six, seven hours. And all this, the skin fell off the bird. Now I have um, two big containers of fantastic yellow chicken broth and a, um, and a bunch of just uh, chicken. Which you can toss inside roll ups or whatever, and it's. Uh, whatever. But you did make stovetop stuffing. And oh, stovetop stuffing. And, uh, <laughs> uh, instant garlic potatoes. <laughs> just add water, potatoes. potatoes. Yeah, just add water. And corn. Oh no, we had corn. <laughs> yep, but we had corn not on the cob. No, that's right. Mm-hmm. It's a little less frightening when it's not on the cob. Mm-hmm. Because you know, putting a cob of corn between your legs is. Uh, anyway. <laughs> Children saw that. <laughs> you didn't see it. No. I mean, you, did oh, you see it? Nope. Uh, well, yeah. Well, yeah. Oh, it's it's been uh, it's been online. Uh, yeah. Oh. It was it was more traumatic in real time. Because <laughs> you're like, what what what, are they, what what are they why are they lined up like that? Are they? Oh my goodness. And there are some like non-traditional dancers here. I mean, body positive people, you might say. And I, my eye is always drawn to this big geeky guy over here. Uh, for some reason, he just looks like he's six foot eight. <laughs> 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 you may have been. <laughs> not exactly the Rockettes here. They're not all trying to look uniform. <laughs> no. But they are wearing uniforms. These uh, look like they're wearing Buster Brown kids uh, clothing. Oh, it looks reasonably wholesome. It was no, no, it looked like the Seven Dwarfs oh, okay, okay. <laughs> from 
Disney's Snow White. Uh, yeah, yeah. Which, by the way, have you Magical heard? Creatures. Have you heard that there's talk, there's talk of doing reshoots without Rachel Ziegler oh. pulling in, um, well, a Snow White rather than whatever Rachel Ziegler decided to play. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, that's, that'd be interesting. But that might be a Mike Zero caliber um, rumor. So mm -hmm. take that Why with a grain of salt, as Doomcock would say. Why is everybody all of a sudden hating on Mike Zero? Because he's clickbait. Yeah, yeah. so what? Yeah. Well, freaking Doomcock is clickbait. Clickbait, I, Doomcock, I, yeah. I still enjoy him. I have no problem. I don't know. Someday, someday when Kathleen Kennedy dies in her <laughs> chair at Disney, he'll be correct. He'll say, I know she's going to go off. Doomcock was right. Finally, Kathleen Kennedy has, has left. I knew we'd get a chance to use this. Finally, Kathleen Kennedy has left Lucasfilm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they, they hauled her out on a stretcher. <laughs> Legs up. <laughs> yeah, Doomcock, you were right. right. <laughs> so, uh, hey. Since we're on the topic um, uh, of Lu Lu Lucasfilm, uh, Lucas our, um, our friend here, uh, after making Ahsoka, mm -hmm. how did Dave Filoni get the job of Chief Creative Officer? Is Disney in that much trouble? I that was the headline I wrote on this one. <laughs> Dave Filoni, oh, he's got a Mandalorian helmet down here. For some reason, he wears a cowboy hat. But he's not a cowboy. Are you sure he's not a cowboy? <laughs> Can you prove he's not a cowboy? He might be a cowboy. Let's put here, Dave F. So we we'll remember I'll in just, the future. Hey, listen. Yeah. Don't label someone. He <laughs> wants to be a cowboy. He's a cowboy. <laughs> That's the problem with this world. We have, when you let standards slip like that. Dave Filoni can run around, I think he's from Michigan, thinking he's a cowboy. <laughs> he's not a cowboy, he's a cowboy. <laughs> he identifies as a cowboy, and that's all it matters. <laughs> he identifies as a cowboy. <laughs> that is a um, $1,000 hat, by the way. <laughs> that was a $10 hat. <laughs> No, it's not a tank. Oh, I don't know. Mm -hmm. But I've seen Goth Brook wear that. <clears throat> and uh, since I printed stuff up, I have no idea what I'm going to do with this. But I know there's a joke for the comic strip in there somewhere. Oh, this wow. is this is the right way to pick up a cat. Oh, oh, okay. First put... Well, well my, my first thought here was, why... Would anybody <laughs> pick up a cat? Yes. Yeah, my original thought. Okay, first put one hand behind uh, on the cat's chest, behind its front legs, and the second under its butt. No, wait a minute. Doesn't say that. And then with your other hand, support the back legs and feet. Oh, not his butt. The cat uh, of the rear of the cat's body. That's a nice thing. So that this makes a sort of seat, and he's fully supported. Always approach a cat calmly, exactly. and handle him gently. Uh, well, how about her? Don't even go near her. Don't even go near her. Don't even. Don't even go near her. Yeah. Yeah. I was gonna say that when you said him. I was gonna say, don't even go near the female. Yeah, don't even attempt that. No, no, no. Yeah. no. Wrong ways to pick up a cat. <laughs> Every other way. <laughs> Wrong. Never pick up your cat by his front legs. Wrong. Never pick up a cat by the scruff of its neck. Uh, they still use... They have a pronoun problem here. It's, it's an it, not a his. Unless in an emergency to save his life, never pick up a cat by his middle. That's how I always pick a cat up. Handling a cat the wrong way can cause him discomfort. And even serious injury. I think it would, yeah, it's more likely to cause us a <laughs> serious injury. Uh, with that aside. Not the pick up, not the pick up, the picker up. <laughs> well, I have no idea what I'm going to do with that, but I'm pretty sure there's a, there's a, there's there's a, there's a, there's a joke Fido there. joke in there somewhere. Leisha Fido joke, yeah. Yeah. Because the cat is just about taking over the comic strip. 
Boy, this is so much more fun than where I was last Saturday. Yeah, uh, well, it's we're recording this on Saturday. Everyone knows that, but we're going to pretend it's Sunday. Cause that's Sunday. that's when this uh, premieres on YouTube, and mm -hmm. you already know that because, well, you're Listen. here. You're listening to me. Mm -hmm. Mm. Yeah. yeah, cat's tail is the most expressive thing. So on the last panel, oh, let's see if the first panel of the tail. Oops, get this on camera. First panel of the tail was trailing behind because he was approaching. Now he's bringing the tail forward. Like, How fortunate for you. And then last, he's got the tail almost doing a middle finger. <laughs> Why not? All right, this one, Bo is trying to intercede, so he's getting in between. Begging, we just let it go. <laughs> And this is Dino's hand reaching over Bo's shoulder. And let's get Bo's arm in there straight out. Button down shirt. And he's got this hand on Dino's shoulder holding him back. A little bit of an action scene here. Because it's cat hair and the mouth is open wider to show volume. And we'll put that one here back. Um, Fido is back here a little bit, just looking concerned. Mm -hmm. As Fido does. No, well, in real life, the dog wouldn't be concerned whatsoever. No. But I said as Fido does. But well, mm -hmm. he's acting here, mm -hmm. as we explained in uh, last Friday's comic strip. That this they these are actors on a stage, mm -hmm. <laughs> and Fido likes to show his range as an actor. So he's showing concern here mm -hmm. for a, a friend. <coughs> I choke when I say that word. All right, and this arm is straight. And it was on the bar, but since Bo is pushing him back, you'll see uh, he originally was here. And uh, he's pushed him back while well, trying to intercede between him and the cat boss. And that's going to be black. Uh, Fido's also moved forward. You remember Fido was originally over here, which would be off this panel. Mm -hmm. so, just trying to explain that I think I've gotten things staged correctly. And I'm guessing that the beer has been jostled a bit, so there's a little bit more on the counter. No, I should put still a slight sweat stain underneath it because he doesn't have a... Usually I put a bar napkin on the bar to soak up the slight sweat from the glass and make sure we get the drips. Yeah, there's a drip right there. Has this cat hair in it. And let's see, will this one fit? Yeah, it's still good on camera. <clears throat> we'll just draw Bo and Dino first, and then we'll have to go back and check for scale on Fido. I think he might be a little bit large, or the glass might not be the right size. 
Probably hurt just a little off. Well, I want to make sure I get the scale yeah. right. Usually I just do it by feel. Mm -hmm. And it feels close at least. But like how I measured um, the eyes of the Disney ca mm -hmm. cartoon character, I can measure the size of the characters here as well. And see if my gut feeling was any was close. Yeah, let's do that now. Where are the post-it notes that I just had? I guess. Let's erase that so it doesn't confuse us. All right, the pint glass is from the edge of the thing to about right there. So how are we over here on panel two? Yep, right on. We got the pint glass right. So now let's see Fido himself. Uh, let's do his head from the edge of the glass to about there. So well, we are. Nope, his head is too big, by at least, by at least that much. So we will have to go back in there. Let's get a. Now is his head too big, or is it too small? It's too no. I'm, it's, oh, yeah, I'm gonna. I'm joking. I'm gonna stick with that. His head's a little bit too large. Let's just screw that. We're erasing it all. We can't really judge the body size here because most of his body is behind the counter. But if his head's that big, hmm. yeah, his body is much too big. All right, let's start again. Yeah, it's good. If he's smaller, it's easier to stuff him into the mug. And let's... let's see how that looks. It's all right from there to there. The important part is that his arm be planted firmly into that glass. So he's taking himself out, right? Yep. And let me look at them. I guess that kind of works out. I forget that we have splatters of beer and even dripping off the counter. All right, that kind of works. That's that. Let's go back to the finished pencil. I'm gonna switch out to another pencil for Dino here. Tipped it last long. <laughs> That's usually what happens. Yeah, I always have this problem when I do the finished penciling. I um, connect the mustache to Dino's nose too closely. I always will fix it. Like, yeah, well, I don't. I didn't do it here, and I didn't do it here, but I did do it here. I will fix that in the inking. Make sure that they don't connect. 
just want to have just a little bit of air space. Oh, Dino, how do you like dog flavored beer? <clears throat> Speaking of dog flavored beer, cheers. Not sponsored. Yeah, see, I know what a pint glass looks like. <clears throat> oh, I should tell everyone that um, friend, uh, cartoonists don't, oh, friends don't allow friends to cartoon drunk. Uh, we have a non alcoholic brew today. All right, I'm going to call that one done, and let's move on to Saturday. And hopefully, we'll get to some inking later on. Come with us, Disney. So, um, we like to, every once in a while, we leave YouTube on all day long. Pretty much all day long, yeah. And every once in a while, we used to uh, listen to someone... Uh, called the Illuminati. She would do these stuff about the stuff about um, corporate did, corporate um, greed and failed companies and stuff like that. She did like a lot that. of um, the um, multi-level marketing. Yeah. She talked she talk a lot about them too. All right. And every once in a while she'd say something and we'd go, huh? And we came to the point that we stopped watching her because she was she was obnoxious. <laughs> Yeah, it was less less informative and more like what? So I I didn't know this, but apparently she's uh, lost her entire internet audience. Just about she's down to almost nothing, which happened after she attacked another one of our friends here, uh, Andrew Esquire, the Legal Eagle. She um, she said that he what well, plagiarized her stuff. Now, I know Andrew Esquire here, and he is a lawyer, and he just sort of <laughs> gently patted the little girl on the head, so that's, that's okay, honey. Uh, <laughs> I, we're good. Yeah, we're good. Um, but anyway, here is the Illuminati, and um, more after she attacked Andrew Esquire and she finally apologized, more and more stuff came out from her uh, friends and lovers, which is in, included in these, these gentlemen here about how horrible she is. And there's, there's, there's one guy, and I don't know if he's pictured here. He might be one of these two. But, uh, let me see. Uh, got it over here. What's his name? Um, well, anyway. This incredible beta male who used to be her boyfriend. He's like 10 years younger than her. And she didn't have credit at the time, so he um, financed her BMW. Uh, she, she had him sign over his house, and now, as of December, he's going to lose his house. And if he tried to even sell it to get any um, of the equity out of it, she'd get the money. <laughs> so she's a horrible person. What's that? He's 10 years younger than her? 10 years younger than him. And he had uh -huh. better credit than she did? That's he, not good. <laughs> But um, what I'm going to address here is uh, sometimes a fan will do fan art. She does. She has this thing with the uh, triangle on the uh, monocle. Mm -hmm. So a fan did this fan art, and she hated it so much she destroyed him because she did not like how she looked wow. in the bikini on this. And it, the big thing she originally said is, how dare you draw me in such a revealing bikini? Where she's released this picture, supposedly, of herself in a bikini. She had no problem with this picture. <laughs> but... This one, which is probably much closer, if not, well, still more flattering than what that woman looks like in real life. <laughs> this vile temptress who's able to uh, seduce all these men, these beta males. <laughs> she didn't have a relationship with the legal guy, did she? No, 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 no. She, uh, Okay. She said the legal guy plagiarized her stuff. Right, and right, right, what's right. kind of funny is right almost immediately afterwards, uh, some people uh, showed this British documentarian doing a thing about an anti-vaxxer guy. Yep. And word for word, she 
has his script. And <laughs> she even uses some of the British colloquialisms yeah, you that an American would not use. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. Uh, her channel is um, kaput, apparently. And, um, well, the internet is probably better off. By, oh, oh by Illuminati. Yeah, well, we started watching her, and you know, I, I like documentary stuff, and this is, you know, I no, was watching right. the Enron stuff on other people and stuff, mm -hmm. so I was looking for stuff, but went around the time I was looking for Enron stuff. Mm -hmm. And every once in a while, she'd say something like, you, you go, huh, what? <laughs> and I remember actually, like, turning one of her shows off, and then it came to the point where when it was recommended to us, I, I just did not want to watch them, and now it's, I, I had not noticed that she's not even in our recommendations anymore. I guess she's lost so many um, subscribers, and the YouTube algorithm, the YouTube algorithm, does not recommend her to us anymore, which is just as well. But you know they keep on cutting out uh, uh, Schreiber. Um, what's his oh, name? Ethan, e Ethan Ethan Van Schreiber. They keep on cutting him out on us, and they. A few other people that we used to generally watch, and and but that's not because they've lost subscribers. I, no, if you listen to Ethan, it's a conspiracy because he's uh, into Comics Gate. <laughs> I don't think, and I don't think YouTube knows what Comics Gate is. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Ethan's a Ethan's a foot soldier in the cultural war. Uh, he believes that there's a cultural war going on, and he doesn't believe that it's not just that Disney has had a massive brain drain, but he actually thinks that a company like Disney is trying to change American culture to something a little bit more um, un-American. Un-American. Thank you. That's a that's a good phrase. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to nope. mention any nope. particular other countries on the planet. Nope. Where they might have amusement parks, and they're going to invest a lot of money into, despite not owning. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, my husband attempted to a uh, to well not attempted used a um, medical iPad to get me onto YouTube when I was in the hospital for a little while, so I didn't have to watch regular TV. But then they ended up confiscating it. Well. <laughs> If they're going to have an iPad and they don't want me to use it, well, don't put internet access on it. Don't put an uh, internet browser on it. <laughs> she comes over, she's like, there's supposed to be a tablet. If this is your tablet, no, what do you want my tablet? <laughs> don't know where it came from. Ha, 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 ha. I was wondering why every now and again it beeped and said, you know, see patient now. <laughs> So this is the one with the dead mouse under the bed. And I'll put Bo in this, this the stylish boxer shorts. Just get to show off his fantastic legs. <coughs> Woo -hoo. Three, sexy, sexy. Four, So I just put the X there so I don't have to color it, but the shirt will be black underneath. So actually, generally a pretty good idea for me not to color things in black because it has to be erased anyway, even though you put ink on top of it. And then that just makes the whole page kind of dusky for the poor chief colorist to, <coughs> for the poor chief colorist to have to work through. <coughs> Pencilly. Pencilly. Mm. It's a uh, graphite. <clears throat> oh, everybody smoke them if you got them.
how's the computer doing? Looks like the screen just went blank. Let me in. The end? Is that what you just said? Da -da. Okay. Oh, I thought you said the end. I'm like, what? Yeah, we're, we're like an hour in, actually, since I want to get some of this inking done so that yeah. it dries. Mm -hmm. I'm going to stop penciling right now, and we're going to move over to the ink bottle. Now, let's, uh, let's choose our weapons. We have, ooh, jeez, I'm going to have to change. Irving's camera level. Whoops, the mount kind of came loose. Alright, that kind of works for this. Uh, Irving, mm -hmm. thank you. Now, let's see, we have, um, this is the oldest brush. No, no, that's the newest brush. They're all getting kind of, that might be a newer one. They're all getting kind of ratty, so you can't tell which one is which one is which. Historically, I don't want to use this one for lettering. I don't. I seem to remember that. And this one's looking incredible. Look how horrible, ratty that's looking. I think we can get a tip onto it. These brushes are made from the finest Himalayan tree squirrel pubic hair. which are becoming increasingly rare. I might have to switch to a synthetic brush sometime in the future. We'll see how the trials... You just trials. can't get a good sharper anymore. It's not the Himalayan particular <laughs> problem. <laughs> I don't know. You're going to blame the Sherpas, huh? Well, you know, the Himalayans are still having pubic hair. The Himalayan tree squirrels. But yeah, but who knows? They... Might be having trouble with the Chinese. Oh, okay. I just want to get some of these things inked so that they will be dry enough for me to complete them before next week. There'd be an apostrophe, yes, which I didn't plan on, because what is? Lettering is sloped 22 and a half degrees to the right. Don't give away all your trade secrets. I believe that shows a little bit of motion. I like to show a bit of motion, uh, movement in the comic strip. Why every panel is drawn uniquely and I change the perspective a lot. <coughs> Depending upon what story I'm trying to, trying to tell. Usually if the uh, one of the, the dog, well, the humans are six feet tall where the dog's only three. So if um, I'm doing it from the point of view of the dog, I'll oftentimes um, bring the perspective line down to the dog's eye level. I you know, do it from the humans, well, vice versa. You know, most important part is just to make it legible so you can read it simply. Not much lettering in this one. <clears throat> There's a lot of letters here. Let's see. Nothing needs to be moved. Let's try to stay as close to what was planned as possible. Always try to, I, you always have to ink just slightly smaller than you drew in pencil just to make sure you got enough room.
Now I could I could have laid this out differently. How would you have well, I often well you don't want to have this much text in one um, panel, mm -hmm. but since the other two previous panels have no text, it kind of works out. But I could have had him ask Felicia in this third panel, why did you leave a dead mouse on the bed, and have her respond in the fourth panel. Oh. You know, just just mm -hmm. get rid of the second panel altogether. Mm -hmm. But um, I wanted a searching on you know, this this is this is a journey so mm -hmm. first they both look under the bed and then he stands up with the mouse and her reaction and then uh, um, you know her this is a snappy answer right back so if I gave her a, 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 an additional panel in which to make the answer it wouldn't come off as a snappy answer it would be something like she had to think about mm -hmm. there you go see all the, um, uh, I'm telling a story. Nice. This is sequential art, mm -hmm. and, and that's the way I want the story to run. That's my prerogative. Why are we here? To make me happy. That makes me happy. Haven't used that one in a while, have we? I don't think so, no. We've got to come up with a uh, title for this one. We're past the hour mark. Um, three things Disney's done wrong. Uh, I still have. Three st things to marvel at. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, oh, you might marvel. Uh, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Three things Disney wishes it didn't do. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I got a wish. Marvel. Yeah. <clears throat> uh. Three things Disney wishes it didn't do. I'm gonna just so I don't forget it. Mm -hmm. Toss that in the notes. <clears throat> Might not use it, but who knows? Wait, my seat. Uh. Oh, uh, there's a problem with that because um, there are more than three things Disney wishes it didn't That's do. True. In fact, just about its entire uh, filmography this year can be listed <laughs> as something they wish they didn't do. If if they did nothing with Star Wars but sell Star Wars merchandise, Wars? Yeah. no movies, nothing, they would have they they would have made more money. Mm -hmm. Merchandising, merchandising. They did nothing but like reprint the expanded universe stuff. <laughs> License out the films. Yeah, I can't believe they could have made their money back. Yeah, I can't believe that they thought that subscriptions would be more than licensing. Well, was. well, Vlad Putin thought he could invade Ukraine after true. getting his ass kicked in Chechnya and Georgia. That is true. Now, these people are delusional. But, uh, yeah, the title should have um, Disney and Wish in it. But, hmm. <clears throat> Disney wishes it wasn't in the same boat as Russia? <laughs> uh, Vlad versus Bob. Well, that doesn't have the word wishes in it. Yeah. Tale of Two Leaders. Mm -hmm. Tale of Two Leaders who wished upon a star. Who wished upon the same star. Could just call it Wish. Could just call it Wish. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Any of the comic strips have anything to do with a Wish? Uh, now we got a beer, I'm seeing a beer and a mouse. And, hmm. No, none of the jokes really tie up with Wish.
usually a little bit quieter when I'm lettering because I want to make sure I catch any misspellings at the last second. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Mr. Bachelor's degree in English. You should be able to spell. <clears throat> Might have to just call it Wish. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. Yeah, I don't think they have that title, uh, that, that copyrighted. I don't think that they word can. copyrighted. No, I don't think you can. And we did talk about the film Wish. My problem is, by the time this thing comes out tomorrow, will Wish still be in theaters? <laughs> <laughs> I know the Marvels probably won't. I think there might be some interesting test patterns they could just oh, flash up there with a, on, a, on, a, on a slide. <clears throat> See, I'm trying to do some um, interesting things with the lighting. So I have a deflector up here that's, def mm -hmm. that's the light is bouncing off of so that I try to get less of a glare on the cherry wood board. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> we'll have to find out when we see the broadcast. I just don't want to see that uh, reflection on the board. Mm -hmm. I probably shouldn't shine it up so brightly. Get like a dull finish fade. It's so nice right here, we have a slight shine. All right, let's put that chakra up to dry. down here. And I want to do the borders on this sucker. Get to see some ruling. Yes, I said I'm not using the ruler as much for the straight lines. I think a uh, hand-drawn line is more organic and looks more dynamic. Mm -hmm. But I can still use a ruler for the panels. No one cares about that. I'm out of frame here, but I'll come down to you guys in a second. Anyway. Amazing how long a brush can go with a lot of ink in it. I don't think I've dipped yet. Oh really? You went all the way to a I guess that was pretty absorbent. Himalayan squirrels. The best, the most absorbent. That's why we use them. Himalayan tree squirrels transfer ink. Oh, sorry, the pubic hair of the Himalayan tree squirrel. <laughs> conveys ink better than any other tree squirrel in the world. That is why they are so sought after. Yeah, we might have to call this one Wish. 
I know it's kind of false advertising because I'm not really making any wishes. Maybe you can tell people to, to uh, write their wishes in the comment section. No, because I, I don't want I don't care. <laughs> I really don't care. <laughs> All right, we gotta let that sucker dry. How are we doing on time? We're at a minute fifty. Sorry, one hour fifteen. Uh, well, let's put that someplace to dry, and that spot's taken. Uh, I think, yeah, I can probably start inking those guys. Yeah, you're too wet. Why don't you sit over here? Oh, sorry, the amount of time back right now. Yeah, that's what she said. Okay, I guess we can, this one's, we can ink these characters that yeah, we penciled earlier today. Yeah, let's start with the pencil. Get out of here. Um, <coughs> usually when the character's head is going to interfere with the word balloons, I like to ink it first so I can wrap the word, word balloon behind the head. But otherwise, the, pan, the balloons would go first. So, we're not going to do the balloons first, because that's boring. Let's get the cat boss in here. Yeah. Let's pull Disney back in here to help us out. You know, I, I really thought that I'd be using the photograph of um, the naked Silver Surfer woman. I guess she did not float my boat or whatever. She did not fulfill my wishes. That's it. I'm, I'm, I'm going to somehow work the wish thing in here some, in the last final few minutes. She somehow did not fulfill my wishes. Yeah. Do I, do I want a female silver surfer? Only if she's naked. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure I'm not going to get that from these people. <laughs> Why? I'm guessing brain drain. <laughs> Do I wish Disney didn't suck? Yes. I d I'm thinking we all do. Gentlemen like Ethan Van Skyver or um, Doomcock would say that we're in a culture war. I'm not going to go that far. I'm not a cultural warrior. I just want to draw a comic strip. That's what makes me happy. And I just wish we could all get along. <laughs> well, that's a great wish for you to have. Mm-hmm. Now that I've come up with a title, <laughs> make sure you wish upon everybody else. Yes. All right. Cat boss with his black pants. And well, for all those who were interested as to how his tail actually came out, there you go. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing he he wears his pants kind of low, like a like a like a rap star would. That way his tail can get, can come out. Let's see, do you know? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six tick marks. Always works out that way. Amazing. You finished all your coloring, Chief Colorist. Mm -hmm. Yes. How nice. I'm not going to have anything to you probably until tomorrow or so. Mm -hmm. You'll be getting this one the Friday, December 1st. Wow. We're already into... Wow. We haven't even had snow yet. No. Yeah. We were I'm... supposed to get snow this week, but it wasn't. It didn't end up being snow. 
Uh. One of the days they said it was going to snow. Yeah, since I don't have to shovel snow anymore, let it, let it snow, let, let it, it snow. snow. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. <laughs> yeah. I'm wishing for a white Christmas. I gotta, get that, I gotta get that word in as many times as possible. But, yeah, apparently the whole wish thing started out as a homage to the song Wish Upon a Star. Oh, yeah, the movie was supposed yeah. to be the yeah. origin of it. Or how yeah. it but I guess it. with the brain drain that Disney is suffering, they couldn't pull that off. <laughs> Just yeah. like Vlad Putin lost all those paratroopers at Cosimil Airport, uh, Bob Iger, well, well, he lost um, a lot of folks too. A lot of some of the best in the world. Now they're down. Well, they, they are. What is it? Three or four companies? Let's see. We got we got Pixar. We've got Marvel. We've got Lucasfilm. Yeah, four. And then d the Disney Animation Company. So they got four outlets of. Uh, content creators and each one has systematically just been whittled away they got rid of um, Lassiter from Pixar which is why well the latest Pixar film has not been as successful as it should have been nope. and they got rid of all the um, old 2d animation people years ago because they just didn't fit they were they were as Brie Larson will put them, um, old white guys. <laughs> and Brie, La Brie doesn't need old white guys drawing her car her cartoons. Four-year-old white guys. Well, I'm, I'm, no, they were much older than four. Oh, <laughs> but uh, what was the project? I, I, it's at the tip of my tongue. They were doing something, and they the oh um. Who Framed Roger Rabbit, believe it or not, was like the beginning of the end for Disney Animation because they, um, they, there was a culture clash between the people making Roger Rabbit, which is a British uh, animation studio, and they, uh, the Disney people did one scene where um, the car, the cab, is uh, driving Bob Hoskins around. And they, they didn't even get credit for it in the movie and you know, all the Oscars. Okay, yeah. But it was a different culture clash. You know, these people were going to use, they weren't using traditional animation techniques. They were just getting into computers. There was no computer use, but the, you, know, you know what I mean. The techniques from Roger Rabbit were groundbreaking at the time. I know. And it was a good movie. Just the pain in the ass uh, problem they went through to get the shadows. All different composites. My, um, I worked for an animation guy at the time. He hated that film, Roger Rabbit. As they, they butchered the character design of Jessica Rabbit. And he, wasn't, he wasn't happy with any, any of the animation. Perhaps he saw a sign of things to come. I was just a normie back then. I, I liked it. I liked the film. I wasn't looking for much. I just wanted to be happy. I wish Disney made people happy.
I think it's it's um, the cat boss here has been designed as a two-dimensional character. I always draw him in this sort of uh, profile, three-quarter profile. So I'm I haven't quite worked out the material this helmet is made out of, whether it be um, flexible or not. Someday if any cosplayer decides to go as Cat Boss, I'd be interested to see what their take is on the helmet. Drink him if you got him. Hey. Yep. Oh, well, we're probably going to have to cut today's show short. Uh, that's an hour, 26 minutes. Always remember to put the cap back on your ink bottle. And I wish that you all have a lovely Sunday, a lovely rest of the week. Um, what the hell? See Wish in theaters um, while you can. That's the word. Yeah, sort of amongst my stack of stuff here. See you next week.